In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, select articles, place them on the clipboard, and then email them either to yourself or to a colleague, depending upon what you're doing. Once you've done a search, such as the one you see before you, in which I have 205 articles, the way you select articles is to click the um, checkbox next to each article citation. So if I wanted one and say three, and I continue to scroll down and say, hey, I also like five, what you'll notice is that you can continue to go down. You can select up to 200. Um, you can continue to select. So I went through and I've done six. Now you'll notice that when I scroll up to the top, I have in this example checked or selected four articles. From here, I can do a couple things. One of the best things to do though, if you would like to add it to the clipboard, is to come over here to the right and what you'll see is this send to um, designation. If you click on the little drop down menu or the arrow, you'll notice that you have the option to go ahead and put it on the clipboard. If you do this, if I just check clipboard, it'll tell you add four items and I can click add to clipboard. When I do that, it's going to place these items on a clipboard so that regardless of any other searches I do, these will stay on the clipboard during my search session. So if I decided to either expand this search or contract it, I would always have these four articles here. Now you also notice there in this drop down menu that I could also email these to myself. I'll show you how to email by first coming over here to the right and deciding well I've done my search these are the only four items I want and clicking on this four items. When you do that what you'll find is here are the four items I've added to the clipboard. If I want to email all of these to myself or anytime you want to email everything that's on a page you don't need to select anything it'll default to, to choosing all of them for you. But say if I only wanted to decide to send the first one and the second selection in this clipboard, I just need to check them. It'll tell you selected to, come over here to send to, click on email, and then it will ask you, here are your two selected items, what would you like to do as far as format, etc. In this case, it'll tell you here's the format. You can do abstract as well as some others. You can also include the mesh and other data if you would like. Sometimes this is useful to, to you or to someone else because remember the medical subject headings will sometimes clue you in as to why these articles were useful and then you can use those medical subject headings to find related articles later. You can do a couple other things such as sort by recently added etc. You can change this to something else so that if you send it to yourself or someone else they know what you're talking about and then you'll notice that the email address here is automatically populated by whatever email address that if you're logged into your MyNCBI account which is you can see um, in this top right corner I am um, you designate a certain email address when you sign up there and that's what you see here you're free to change this just by highlighting it and clicking the backspace or deleting it in some way. And then if you want to email it, you just click email and it's off and away. And you'll notice that it will confirm that the email has been sent. And that is how you email articles, whether it be to yourself or someone else, select articles, and add articles to a clipboard.